Another episode of Only Fiends with me, Karen Elizabeth Fian, and my guest today, you know him from his sex work at the Chippendales Club, <laughs> Vinny Guadino. Woo! Yay! I counted on you to say my name right and you said it wrong. Well, how do you say it? Guadagnino. There is too many oh syllables God. in your name. That's absurd. Woody you knew Guadagnino? Me. This whole that time. That is ridiculous. This whole you time I'm really like, I'm it. doing this podcast because you're my friend and you know me so <laughs> well. But everybody says Guadagnino. Guadagnino. Just forget it. Guadagnino. Guadagnino. Redo it. Let's start over. No, no, no. Don't worry. I want to. I, I want them to know. That I'm an idiot? That you don't know me, not my last name like that. I wouldn't call you by your last name if we were like close anyway. I would call you by your first name. But you would know it. Guadadino. Oh, she That's, still can't say it. Guadadino, I'm literally telling I said it. you the answer. Didn't I say it right that time? Guadanino. Guadanino. Nino, oh, it's yeah. like finding Nino. Finding Nino. Think about that. And Guada. Guada, Guada finding Nino. Guada Nino. You know what? It's really that extra syllable that they snuck in there. Yeah. What's up? How are you? Thanks I'm for coming good. down here. I'm good. Yeah, I haven't <laughs> done. so mad. <laughs> I'm not mad. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. People do. At the river right, I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to move on. What? From because now I'm obsessing about it. <laughs> oh my God. I'm like yeah. fully like in it my head about rough, it. It was a rough name. Like bef- while you were saying the Vinny part, I was having like a little bit of a panic attack that I was gonna botch it. Which way it was gonna go? Yeah, and you know, you could have also like let it go. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you could have also been like, man, that'll that be my name for been worse. this podcast. Whoever's watching would have been like, why didn't he say something? So, <laughs> it was a lose lose. Honestly, a pussy. <laughs> it was a lose lose. <laughs> Um, so we're we got kind the of, shoes off. Well, I have my shoes off. Mm-hmm. Here's what happened. Is that on purpose? Or? I went, well, yeah, my guys love this. It's for you guys. It's for retention, so they stay tuned. Yeah. They're, oh, retention, meaning they won't just drop off. Yeah. Okay. What if you started with them off and then halfway through, you're like coming up next, mm-hmm. shoes off. That would really retain them. It, you know? do, it does, but they I just, just like knew forward. I was going to say your last name wrong. So I wanted them to get, I wanted them to the, get on from the beginning. So I don't you. lose your people either, the you facts. know, because you're by far my biggest get. <laughs> so really glad I botched your last really? name. Really? Um, oh, you got big, big people. I mean, not as, not as big as you. You're, uh. You're out there. Oh, thank you. You're out there. I'm big in some spaces, but in some spaces I feel small. What? <laughs> you like, know? like what? Like, <laughs> like, like, what every, like everything. Like, like, a, <laughs> like everything that's not reality television. Oh. Um, no, like I, I, I obviously like really respect the art of comedy. And I see all the comedians that you have on, your friends. Yeah. What you guys do, I give like. No shit. Like You're I, good at stand-up I give, comedy, Vinny. I've seen I don't, you do I don't, it. I haven't done it enough to know if I'm good. I'm telling you, and it's I'm a bitch. Some, there's something there. I'm, like, very hard on comedian. Like, I'm like, yeah. you stink. Like, if people are bombing and, like, ruining the momentum of my free show on Mondays at the stand, I go around and I talk shit about them. Like, I'm like, this I've person's been there. <laughs> ruining yeah. the show. Yeah. And you did great and held your own. Like, you were getting laughs. You're- yeah. I've never actually, like... Oh, well, maybe one time years ago, but I was going to say, like, I, I don't have it in me to, like, actually bomb bomb. Um, like, I know enough of what a joke is to, like, know that, OK, this might get like a giggle or yeah. something just to keep it alive. Right. But I feel like the real comedy starts when you actually do go out and bomb. Sure. Like, I need to do that more. Well, yeah, I think, you know, but it's hard for me to do it because. It'll be like cl- all over the place, maybe if if they record. Oh, like you're worried, like Ti, like Ti started bombing, and yeah. people are like posting videos of him like eating. I don't know steak. if his goal was to bomb though. <laughs> I think his like my goal is to kind of bomb because you... that, it, it's just it's just to it's to talk, it's to discover sure. things and. You know, not just like go with like set up punch type shit. And you it's know? also like your stripes as a comic. Like you gotta bomb. Like you gotta like eat yeah. the dick. Like you have to feel like the sweat like crawling up your back. Like you have to. Be- because you took a chance though. Right. You didn't just bomb. I mean, so listen, some people probably just suck, but they do. The real comedians know those stories because they like don't give a fuck. Right. And I think part of the whole art of it is not caring. And that's what people eventually end up laughing at when you say something funny. My worst bomb, I used to date one of the Lucas brothers. Do you know them? 
No. They're these black twins. They're Academy Award nominees, and they're great. And I was opening for them at the Stress Factory. Okay. And their mom was coming. And he and I had been dating for, like, maybe, like, six months. I don't know. And I was like, hey, do you think your mom's going to like me? Mm -hmm. And he goes, no, she's going to think you're gross. She's going to think you're vulgar. And I was so in my head. And I think I had to do, like, 15 minutes or whatever. How long were you dating him for? Like, a year and a half total. And this was your intro to the mom? Yes, the first time I had ever met her, dude. And I'm talking about sucking her black son's dick in front of a fucking 200 people. Wow. Ate my face off. Like, I had never bombed harder in my life. My friend Mookie was there. He was like, you, it looked like a snake eating itself. It was mm. wild. I but walked like, off you... the stage and I, we had a car that was taking us to and from Jersey back to the city. I walked off that stage. I left my purse jumped there. jumped in front of the car. I swear to God. <laughs> I was like, I got on public transportation. I got on the yeah. first train and I just cried the whole way home. Do you, and like, have you, did you ever do those jokes before that? Like, yeah. and they did well. Yeah. So what is that that can make it like do well somewhere? And then, um, not even like, you know what I'm saying? Like if it Bomb. was like, all right, like I gig, like some people giggled. Audiences are different, but it's so crazy how this was. You know. I think they we even though we were like a good match, like dating or whatever, we weren't a good match comedically. We were very different. They were pretty clean. Mm. They're like kind of nerdy vibes. Like oh. they do mushrooms, talk about cartoons, like stuff mm -hmm. like that. And I'm like, yeah, I'm deep throating this fucking twin. I was like dating deep twins like a bogo. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it just so in front of his crowd, I wasn't. Well, I give comedians respect for for bombing. Yeah, you just got it. Because, like I said, you're only one way to discover what the fuck is actually funny and worth saying something, and that's to just talk and and bomb. You sure. Know? But I'm you, like I'm a little more like system. I I can't take that risk. So like, and I want to. So like, I come in there already with like set up punch or like some stupid jersey shore reference that i know is going to get a laugh and then like i try to go off the cliff a little bit and mm -hmm. no one laughs i'm like okay i'm coming back like make a joke about we fucking do that. snooki like, or something comics, <laughs> comics do that like we go back to our I and mean, we're trying out new stuff it's like the sandwich method you know like usually because you oh, have I'm to sorry. sort of gain how dare I'm you sorry the dms you know vinnie guadagnino wait no one's dming me you're right next to me get wait. it <laughs> One. Did you slide in my DMs? Is that how we met? <laughs> Shut so. up! How dare you? I feel like you slid into mine. No, oh, let's go she, check. She slid into mine. I'll read them all out. not loud right now. I don't give a shit. Wait, can I actually tell you the, the little story? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> is it about me? She's, yeah. Okay. Because well, like, it's my podcast. I don't. I, I. I think this is how it happened, but like, I think I saw your stuff somewhere. Like again, I'm, I'm a huge fan of comedy. Especially oh, when you saw my stuff. Yeah. Like, That's especially crazy. like New York comedy. Like I'm, I go down the rabbit hole sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. to find Karen, you, you gotta go deep down the rabbit hole. Wow, no, I'm taking kidding. shots I'm kidding. now. Now he's taking, now he's comfortable. <laughs> Look at this guy. Podcast pro just taking shots. Um, so yeah, I was deep down there, like page 87 <laughs> all right, all right, of, of all right. YouTube. And, um, <laughs> I think like I had, I wanted to just follow you because again, like just uh, for comedy and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then like, I think maybe I saw like you DM me <laughs> or something like when I looked and like, I was like, all right, well, this is weird now. Cause I'm following her and she DM me. Right. What did but I like, say? I probably gave like hard eyes to one yeah, of your like, like shirtless your, things. I don't, it was like, it was, I was like, it was weird. Cause I was like a fan. You're my fan. Yeah. I'm, you heard it. Definitely. You heard I it. was like a fan. And I'm like, you already DM me. Wow, you're so, so like, lucky. I'm putting you on this platform. So thank <laughs> and then introducing you to all my fans. Well, seriously, <laughs> but um, yeah, I saw like, cause you do you ever do that before? Like, um, I do a trick where if sometimes like you'll, it's like striking gold. Like if I'm scrolling through IG and I see someone I like, mm -hmm. I like hit message, mm -hmm. and then like I can see like if that person already messaged me before. Yeah, and if they did. I'm like, You're in. I'm in, You're I'm in. in, you know? So well, I kind of felt like that with you. Maybe that's going to happen to you more than other people, though. Maybe. Mm, yeah. It depends what do, you on have, what do you have, 4 million followers? 4.3. 4 4.3 .3 million 3. followers. But if like, I'm saying it could happen to you what, in your circle, I'm, I'm sure like every, well, maybe not the comedians because they, they have to see you and shit. Do they DM you a lot? Like yeah. ones you don't know? Um. Yeah. But I, I mean... But I ignore them. I ignore them. Um, you knew I was going to say that. Wait, well, this is what I was going to ask you. Your demo, like my followers, if you look at it, it's like 98 or 97% male. Three, Mine is the opposite. 
It's all women. All women. <laughs> so we're getting you some women today. Let's get some We're ladies. getting me some men. What's up, boys? Tell them. What's up, daddies? These are fucking class D license holders. These are yeah. blue collar fucking good dudes. Salt that of the like earth. feet. They love. Thank you for reminding me. I have. Because we're 10 minutes in. <laughs> feet people as well. Talk on it. I mean, there's not much to say. The girls, they want to see you? No, 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 no. Men, yeah, yeah. Men want to see your feet. And like, it's to the point where when I'm, whenever I'm posting a picture, like I'm very self-conscious. You blur them. I either cut them, (laughs) I blur them. I was on a yacht the other day wearing socks. <laughs> like, wait, I'm like, fucking... I'm on your close friends list. Yeah, that's like a huge deal to me. I tell it everyone is. that it I love your, it's close... your biggest accomplishment. It's easily it's on my... look at you smoke me. Right. Am I on wiki feet? You, you crush me. Oh my, I told you you're four stars. I told you oh I have to God. monetize this somehow. You literally demolish me. You bury me on wiki feet. And I do this. <laughs> <laughs> you like bring you like put them out there. I think it's the allure of it. It's it, like that I'm not look at too. The, oh, the one in the mint swimming trunks with their feet up. Oh man. So now that's spank bank. What all is day. this for? Like a guy's jerking off to this? Yeah. They're, right? They're, yeah, but there's only one reason oh, for this. There's yeah. no like it's, I just it's a celebrity collection of feet, and then people go and rate them. He knows what wiki feet is. You know what wiki feet I don't. Is. Really? I don't. Oh, I knew that there thanks, were Pat. celebrity feet websites and shit. This is it. This is it. Yeah. Now, again, it only has one purpose, like, uh, uh, you know, to pleasure yourself because no one else want. Why else would anyone want to just look at feet right. unless you have that thing? Yeah. Okay. Does that make you uncomfortable? A little bit. <laughs> I don't know. Because they're sort of like pleasuring. Ooh. <laughs> Boo, you kill Beat me. Ya. You kill me. I'm Beat so embarrassed. Ya. Some guy has. Yours doesn't even have the number next to it. No. <laughs> it just has the stars. Some yeah. Why won't. doesn't mine have the number? Pat? You don't have enough ratings. This is bullshit. I'm liter- some guy has taken screen grabs of all the podcasts and like mm. put put them up though. So shout out to that that's guy. Like, that's artsy. He's working hard. Um. Well, my thing is like that's not the worst fetish to have because if you could just get aroused by looking at feet, I, mean, I feel like it's the strongest of the fetishes. And I'm just speaking. I don't know. I don't know if this is true, but I feel like. The other ones can kind of be contained maybe, but they cannot like it's if you have that one, it's like super, super strong. Okay. Like, you know, like yeah. I feel like they feel the most strongly about it. That's why that whole thing exists. Yeah. And they um, comment. There's like, what is it? There's. Uh, they can't help themselves. Feet? Like if I have feet on my on my picture, <laughs> like the comments are going to be crazy. <laughs> what do they say? Like, oh, those are sexy. Big, ju- your big toe is so big. They're just like. Look at that thick knuckle. If if I post it, they're happy. If I don't post it, then it's just they're mad. I they're, rate. They're, they're like, fucking fuck show the fucking feet, <laughs> bitch. The fuck you doing? What am I paying you for? How much do you think I can make? Vinny, you're rich. Like, why are you trying to make an extra stream of income with your feet? I can never have too, too much, much money. money. Um, people do like I I do get haters once in a while. They're like, I've oh, you're it. doing Chippendales. Guess things aren't going well for well, you. That's exactly what they say about my OnlyFans. That's what I, I thought we were going to connect on that. Let's connect. Yeah. But it's it's like, okay, so I'm starring in a Vegas live show. Right. You're the Celine Dion of Chip I'm on four different TV shows. I have a residency, like my sixth one. Yeah, but you must be in the whole. How monetary. is that making me <laughs> do bad? You know, be doing bad. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't I don't understand. That is like a the shot leap. that people take it constantly. They're like, you must not be succeeding at comedy. You must you, be fucking bailing. I'm like, you're like, no, this is working. This is know. why I'm doing it. I don't know. It, it, it makes you, me money. Do you live in a nice apartment? <laughs> like, I don't I just wonder what those people do for if you comment on somebody's financial status what is my pussy out um <laughs> that's good you, retention <laughs> if you comment on somebody's financial status you better be rich like you better have your own but people don't they just like i get it they're listen they're them. you gotta hate you gotta do the whole thing whatever i just i don't like if you're making a ton of money on only fans like you're doing it because it makes money. You're not doing it because you're broke. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like know. I'm on all these things because it makes me money. So, right. um, I love the chip and nail but shit. Yeah, we're both, you se- must we're, enjoy we're both it, sex right? workers. We are sex workers. <laughs> you must enjoy it. Right. I would like, well, like you have a healthy body that people are celebrating and paying. Wait, can we just, before we get to that, I can know we just go really back to worker. monetizing the feet? Yeah. Go ahead. Again, Cause I, I would love wanna... another stream of income. All right. Let's talk about now, it. Now, the only thing is I have like, okay, so I, I have 
decent money. I'm not like rich or anything, <laughs> but like I've been watching I mean, since you it, walked it's in. It's relative. <laughs> but uh <laughs> it has to be over a certain amount for me to, you know, get my even get consider my it be beak wet is that what they say <laughs> to get my beak wet so like million is like the happy number for me okay you know what i'm a saying mil, a cool mill a, a, a year. cool mill a year yes okay so how do we do that i Let's do think you do that i yeah? think you make an only fans page and just do your feet because when you tell people like it's different for different people but like at yeah. my level or whatever like everyone usually shuts up when you say like the m word what's the m word M. What's the M word? <laughs> Million. Million? Why? <laughs> no, because just anything you say, like, you could just be like, I, like, well, how much you do that for? Like, I got to pay it a million bucks. Yeah, and then they Even though a million dollars isn't that much Especially nowadays. after taxes, motherfuckers. In New York City, Dude, it's my, like, fucking um, my, Uber my, Eats my, bill. My butthole's building bridges in this fucking city. I shelled out so much money this year. It's wild. Yeah. So, but still, it sounds good off the tongue, like yes. a million, you know what I mean? So a no cool matter, mill. like if I did OnlyFans, because I actually thought about it during the pandemic when yeah. like um, people were making like a million in a day. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I already showed my ass and shit on my Instagram from Chippendales. Right. I'm like, can I make a million in a day? You know, mm -hmm. I didn't end up doing it, whatever. Um, I just wonder, like you have a huge female dick? following. <laughs> <laughs> what? You have a huge yeah. All the all the all the ninety eight percent men are gonna love this. It's a PG. Is this PG? Yeah, we are trying to keep it clean for YouTube. No, mm -hmm. um, we get demonetized every time. Okay, my question was, I or my thought is, I just wonder. Now, granted, you're selling out, and these Chippendale shows are probably mostly women. They're all ninety nine point nine percent. Maybe mm -hmm. a straggler, like Dahmer looking dude, might be in the crowd. There's a straggler, Dahmer. There's the gays. <laughs> the gays. We love the gays. There's the gays always... have money too. My yeah, thing is, but how I much don't money? Know. Because <laughs> listen, gays, I will give you the feet <laughs> for a million. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if it's only four guys, right? And it just seems like a lot because they're the only four guys in my DMs. <laughs> I'm not doing it for y'all. All right. <laughs> Get all the gays together. Let's start a go fun, a go gay me. I think you do a month test run and see what you real. But then you're in it. You, you know? rank it. Then you're in it because then you might be depending on it because then next thing you know, you bought an orphanage in Africa and you got to keep it up. I hate when that happens. Right? Yeah. Do you do much phil uh, philanthrop <laughs> philanthropic work? work? Wow. That <laughs> Shut was up. <laughs> this Shut up. No, no, I wasn't laughing at that. I'm like. It's a horrible question to ask me because I'm I don't is it you don't <laughs> do anything. <laughs> well, good. Now you can start. <sighs> Does that actually mean doing something? Like what 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 constitutes is that? Is it just money or is it like can you lend your awareness to it? You know? <laughs> I do a lot of awareness stuff. You shed your people, light on things. I make people aware. That's good. I'm like adopt. What are adopt children or dogs? Dogs. Okay. Yeah. Children, fuck them. <laughs> Even though, fuck children. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's going to get you demonetized. Um, even though in New York, though, like I'm, I am, oh God, I'm already like getting controversial here. Let's hear it. But uh, nah, Let's I don't. Go. <sighs> this is good. We love it. This is going to be the clip. Whatever he's nah. about to say. Mm. <laughs> it's not that. Where is your dog, by the way? She's going to be back soon. She's at a dog party. Oh my God. I was there and then I left her with the other dog, mom. You left her for me? I Aww, did. Thank you. You're welcome. No, it's, it's, I, 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 I always adopted dogs, but for the city, like you kind of need to like know what you're getting mm -hmm. because it's a small place and there's a lot of like different temperaments around oh. and dogs and stuff like yeah. that. So like, I mean, know. we can talk about dogs for the rest of the podcast. Well, like, I know, but it's, I'm not talking about them in like, a, I'm talking a about like way? adopting versus buying, you know what I mean? And again, I, I fully support adoption a hundred percent. Um, I hate the, the issue that exists because of overbreeding and mm -hmm. everything especially i have a pit bull and fucking she's my child i love her i adopted her tito right tita tita oh see my i fucked that up too fucking dogs who's tito who's tito like i don't know like, all right like the vodka look it up google tito but like if i you know like <laughs> i had got her when i was living in the suburbs and you know like it was fine she wasn't she gonna backyard. yeah backyard and not she yeah. was gonna be interacting with too many dogs and shit like yeah. It's a fucking war out here. No, I know. You know what I mean? Mabel's like, reactive. Like my, my dog, dog too. Is she does she gets along with 95% of dogs. Mm. But there's a dog in the park right now who she has attacked before. And I left her with the other dog moms and it might be RIP Leo, but Leo stinks. He comes in with his like wiry energy and Mabel's at work. Like she's mm -hmm. catching her frisbee 15 times. She doesn't have time for any fucking type thing. Like she's like shut the fuck up. 
right. she's never actually like broken skin or made any dog bleed. Well, dog parks themselves are like sketchy to me. I know you like love them and take your dogs there, but it's just it's crazy how they're, they're legal. Well, it's not a fighting ring. Like, it, I mean, it could be in one second, <laughs> you know, not, it happens. Like I've broken up a few, probably like five to 10 dog fights that Mabel has been in, mm. but it was a lot worse when she was younger. And like, I just kind of kept working with her and, you know, then yesterday she was like playing so nicely, so friendly with a puppy. I just feel like, like fight. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> her best friend, Louise, who I think her mom's going to bring her back eventually they do if you were a bystander and not either of these dogs moms you would think they were fighting like the noises they make yeah but they're full on my playing. dogs like that too yeah i used to have a husky and they used to like we used to love it it was like watching That's like so national fun. geographic like but yeah i don't know i can't do that so like yeah i mean with the adopting you don't really know what their temperament is gonna it's true. Grow into and, and training works, but a lot of it is the breed. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is the genetics. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I go both ways on it. Yeah. You know? I think like if you're a good dog owner and like really dedicated to your dog, like you can make a good dog. Yeah. To an extent, I think like, you know, like I said, again, like she's my dog's reactive and mm -hmm. like I'm sure there's more I can do, but then I'd have to start getting into like military boot camp type of like right. regimens and, and you're training. Like, I want her to be a dog. And I want her to be a dog and I'm like just an idiot. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I do my best. <laughs> I'm gonna die one day if I like see you with your pit bull like and like this. You know how they're like by their leg? Like, yeah. Yeah. Do but, you run with her? No, because she has like a bad leg and like she's such a like fucking fronter. Like she she acts like she wants to do so much shit and then like she walks for five minutes and is like tired. Good. You know okay. what I mean? I'm like, okay. Yeah. Like today, like when it's hot out, she can only walk for like yeah. a couple of minutes. Speaking of hot out. Mabel's black. So she gets really hot. She gets hot too. Yeah. And she gets racially Speaking profiled. Speaking of black. No. Um, <laughs> it's so nice out. It's nice out, right? Did yeah. you run today? I ran today. Ran past your apartment. Yeah. Um, and then I just took a city bike here. Oh. I'm trying to burn calories kind and shit. of scared of skinny city bikes there's yeah. not enough there's not enough things Ports, like, yeah there are docks when you get to the place yeah. i'm noticing that can't like, you just like leave goal. it can you just like no uh, what do they can't. do what do they do they will they find charge you? you yeah uh, um but let's talk about your lifestyle my lifestyle yeah because so, you're really healthy and it's really good you're really healthy too i am yeah. i'm healthier than you because Fuck of you. <laughs> because of one thing because you don't because i don't because you don't drink yep that's where I want to be next with it. I'm like 99% there, but alcohol really has like gotten me everything I have today. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the opposite of me. It's like taking everything from me. No, it makes me amazing. Yeah. Everyone, no one likes me sober. Everyone <laughs> loves me drunk. I'm so much more fun, outgoing. Like people are more comfortable around me. I'm not socially awkward anymore. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it really, it truly does serve like a purpose in society and my life. It but just, your I system, like for your body, like it, how do you hate feel? It, hate yeah. it, hate it, especially as I've gotten older and yeah. now like I just went to Miami and yeah. it fucked up like my sleep and I had to do it like two Vinny on the yacht was so funny. I'm on his close friends list. You gotta come to the yacht one day. I know, I'll come, I'll come. But I'm you on know? his close friends list and like Vinny posted this story and it's him just like sitting, like chilling. <laughs> and then there's these two perfect asses, <laughs> like the hottest asses I've ever seen in my life. And Vinny's unfazed. He's just like, <laughs> Yeah, just taking it all in. I'm a good like perfect. curator of, of things around me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I make a mean playlist. <laughs> That's important. And for the yacht, you got to have like the right group personalities. Yes. And also just like, oh, and I'm a great food orderer. Okay. Know how to wow. order the shit out of food. So is my mom. It's so weird. Really? Yeah. At a restaurant? Yeah. Yeah. She'll take care of the whole table. She knows We're what you want battle, before you want it. Your mom. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, it's the same thing. You know, it's like ordering you're food. Great, you're <laughs> <laughs> you need the appetizer in the main course you is need that the, app, you the main mean? course you need a little something sweet <laughs> something salty something bitter um no but because i have a lot of different friends in different friend groups right i don't have like the one squad you know I people mean, have the squad yeah don't you though no no well my who like my show yeah um and by the way you can talk about it no i was, I, I was I instructed, yelled at, instructed i yelled at, not to no i just wanted I follow, to have I follow instructions very seriously. Ooh. 
What, my pussy without a guy? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a, oh, trying to be a traditional obedient. woman. Obedient. <laughs> <laughs> Down, girl. Um, well, yeah, they're like a squad in a way, but like these people like go on vacations and shit and like with the same group of people yeah. and everything. And I'm like, I don't know that many people that huh. are like down to like, do you like that? Are, like down to go on vacay. If I got shit? a crew. Well, vacay is tricky. Vacay is tricky because I like to do certain things. Dinner. I don't know. Dinner. I could get a crew together. Yeah. 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 Cause I get the group chat. With who's in I've it? got two different good. I got the dog mom's group chat, mm. and then I, got I need the, friends. I don't have friends. The comedian group chat. Comedian one is good. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. You have a, a crew, right? Little like Mike Cannon, who's been on the show twice. Only fans. I mean, one I of know my favorite. Oh, I Mike you guys Cannon. Like I wouldn't go to dinner with him. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Cannon. <laughs> you're out. You're out. I mean, love you, Mike, but you should quit. <laughs> no, nah, like <laughs> even if I have like a friend in a group. Like, I know him very well, and then, like, but I don't know his friends. What do you mean? Here she comes. Here she comes. It's okay. Hi, guys. This is Amy and Nicole. Hey, guys. This is Vinny. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. She didn't poop? Do you guys have my bag? Oh, God bless. God bless. God bless. Which one is this? That's Mabel. 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 She might need to leave me alone, Bone, because she's going to be really into you. Listen, bitch. Oh, she's pissing. Is she pissing? She pissed. She pissed. She was just outside for an hour and a half. She saw me, so. Pat, get her bomb. She literally, that's all for you, that urine. Evil. See, like, already, though, like, I. I you hate her. No, I don't hate her. Oh, okay. But, like, the, I'm, with my dog, like, I'm very regimented. Not on the like, couch. Not on the couch. No way. Like, <laughs> like, she's owning us right now. <laughs> <laughs> she's just fucking just. Nail but watch, us. Pat's gonna get her a leave me alone bone and put her in my bedroom. Wow, Pat does the pee, he does everything. Yeah, Pat, yeah. Pat, if I need an orgasm, Pat. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> On demand. That's Vinny. Do you like him? Hey, he has a dog named Tita, not Tito's. That was my fault. Yeah, see, Mabel is imperfect in many ways, mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, she's also the love of my life and I would die for her. And now she's going to go in my room. What kind of dog is she? She's like a lab shepherd mix. Oh, she's a mix. Yeah. Mixed race. Mixed race. See, so you're like, wait, do we, you think you have OCD? Are we still going? Oh, wait, did you pause, Pat? Okay. No, that's all. We're it. keeping it all in. OCD. <laughs> like. Yes, I do have a little OCD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I can tell from your apartment. Like yeah. this, like, does this appear dirty to you? No. My dwellings. Mm-mm. Okay. I would have more OCD about the decor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to me. Well, you're I mean, a minimalist. I'm I know. A, yeah, minimalist, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I like natural minimalism. So I, I do like the woods that okay. you have in here. Okay. Um, this is all too busy though. All this stuff. Yeah, like the green. Don't like the green. Don't like the green. I'm getting rid of that chair. I'm getting a new one. Anthropology gave me twenty percent off for my birthday month. There you go. Thank you. I should use more. I should use more um, color. I try to like make little make it pop here and there but that's just me there, this is a vibe too this it's is like just, a, a kind of vibe the thing is like i need like a multicolored rug because as you saw the dog's gonna piss a little on it you know what i mean like so but like on a more serious note like um <laughs> i'm gonna lick it <laughs> <clears throat> ocd like i don't think is like when they say like are you ocd because your apartment's clean and right. stuff like I, I think that's just like someone being like kind of neat and mm-hmm. stuff but mm-hmm. like i think like i had like well i'm not ocd I'm an overthinker. Okay. You know, so like, sure. are you an overthinker? No, under. Underthinker. I'm an underthinker. I'm like, um. Weren't you like addicted to stuff though? Sure. Yeah. Uh, a very addictive like personality. Addic- yeah. So I think that can be, I think it all roots from like the same place. Like, um. See, I'm like a. <clears throat> addicted to like the ego or the self oh, and sure, stuff like that. Sure. You know? But I think that's healthy. Yeah. It could be like a gift and a curse. Yeah. You know, it can make me very productive mm-hmm. or it could like keep me up all night you know what i mean See, i try not to overthink shit that i put out because it's so stupid what pops off and what doesn't like i put up and i brought brought this up last week um a clip that stinks like very mediocre like i wasn't happy with the content it was a a crowd work clip but i was wearing a dress that was totally see-through and you could see my ass and I'm like, this is going to pop off because people are going to hate it. It's not that funny. And I'm half naked. Mm. And I was right. So I don't. And now, if I, I were to I like. I saw that clip. Yeah. I liked so, it. I liked yeah. it. 
I don't even know what you were saying. No, I, I wasn't like proud of the actual comedy, you know, mm. and I'm like most of my fans, I think, no, like I'm, that wasn't the best representation of me, mm -hmm. but it did numbers. It made me bank on OnlyFans. It like bumped up my YouTube. So it's like well, sometimes like if <clears throat> if you were to overthought that I wouldn't have put it up and you wouldn't have put it up. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, it's the same thing we're talking about with the comedy before and stuff. But, um, you yeah, know, I, I, I like I, I, th I think some people like are addicted to to thinking and to like, you know, to being in their head too much. You know what I mean? So you have to kind of like take a step back and be in the moment. Are you into like all that shit? Yeah. You are, right? Oh, yeah. I love all this shit. My self-care regimen is too much, though. Like sometimes <laughs> it feels indulgent. Like what do you mean? Like you're, when you're masturbating? Uh, well, that's a big part of my self-care, which mm. I have not done today, which is probably why I'm so hype. Pat, get on Pat, it. Pat, get on it. <laughs> he on. jumps on my clit. Um, <laughs> I, I wonder sometimes if it's a little too self-indulgent, but at the same time, I'm so happy. Like I work out almost every day, mm -hmm. right? And it's I'm early, like, and I like to work out for at least an hour. After that workout's over, I am like sauna, steam, IV drip, facial, like Now, what cryo. if you don't do that stuff? Then I'll fucking stab everyone. See? That's what I, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, <laughs> it's like you're addicted to it. Yeah. You know, you yeah, know. But what a good addiction. It is a good addiction, but it's what I'm trying to work on is like, if those things don't happen. Mm -hmm. So like perfectionism. Yeah. See, I see you. A lot of people are perfectionists. This yeah. is where I was going with like yeah. their apartment and yeah. blah, 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 you know? So being a perfectionist, I don't think is a great thing. It could lead to good things in your life, mm -hmm. but you also need to be okay with like 20% of life not being perfect. Yes. You know, and Do that goes with like anything. Do you feel like you expect per perfectionism from others? Like when people are irresponsible, say they're late or... I've, you got a hitter, Pat. You know you got a hitter when she barks. What podcast am I doing? <laughs> talking about, like this is, you, I was fine until that. No, because <laughs> he really just went in there, <laughs> like this. like with a mallet. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, wait, is she joking? Like, is she this is part of the act? Well, you don't hit your dog. No, no, I would never. Because I didn't put it on. But say, who's hold calling that you? Are they Facetiming? Let's no, Facetime. Not, I don't know. Is I don't it? answer any numbers. I don't have stored in my phone. That's smart. I'm so if you ever try to prank me, it's not happening. Not happening, pranksters, losers. You were saying from other people. Like right. I have been in some relationships or situationships where. Situationships. Yeah, because I don't know. I haven't had many we're real, gonna, we're gonna real relationships. But um, yeah, where I have to do a good job of being like, okay, like. This, Women are slobs. This person is not going to be perfect yeah. in this arena. You know right. what I mean? So. Um, you know, some, so you, you gotta be patient. I it, mean, the patience is another one. Is it like a deal breaker if a chick is like a full on slob though? Yeah. We wouldn't have even gotten Ever to that point. Because it's like, you can tell, but some women are like very put together and then you mm -hmm. get to their home. Their apartment or their car. You can their tell. Their car. Yep. I hate a fucking dirty car. I hate a dirty car too, but my car, I'm a very clean person. You see my like apartment and shit, mm -hmm. but my car is a little messy because I'm I'm barely in it. Yeah. Whenever I I'm just taking it out of the city real quick, pay like fucking eight hundred dollars a month <laughs> for it to sit there, <laughs> and then like I'm just too tired to like clean it and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's also like a second storage unit for me. Okay. But yeah, you could tell by someone's car. You could tell you know by someone making the bed every day. Right. Someone's apartment. You make your bed every single day. Mm -hmm. Messy to. bed, messy head. That's what I heard. I love messy head. <laughs> <laughs> there he Let's goes. Let's talk about like, giving head. There he head. goes. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm so good at it. Yeah. Um, I had a palate expander as a child. So. Perfect. Thank you. What do you uh, mean you haven't had it. that many, Pat? <laughs> you haven't had that many real, real relationships? When was your last girlfriend? Um, I've had. <laughs> now you're going to get nervous? Stuff. Yeah. Good. <laughs> good. Um, now we're going to press him. <clears throat> Can't tell me what I can talk about. Yeah, um, I just didn't want it to be basic. But you, I didn't are know where basic. you were. You're I am boring. basic, but I you're wanted to regular. Like, show you're everyone white. a different side of me. You're white on this low stakes. Podcast. You're a sex worker. <laughs> um, you're just a basic I told bitch. Karen, she's not allowed to ask me Jersey Shore questions. Yeah, but like I, but I think it's that's funny. not what I wasn't saying. You're not allowed. I was you just said like you're not allowed. Putting the he vibe. made me sign a DNA and a, a DNA. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I. Uh, <clears throat> you think I really didn't know? What? 
that it was an NDA. Oh. I've had to sign them before. No. Yeah. For real? Yeah, I was on this show called My Big Fat Fabulous Life. Oh, for shows and stuff. Yeah. You, have you ever signed one for a guy? No. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. I've just been, just been <laughs> pulled aside and asked to stop talking about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I usually do. I'm like, we're cool, right? Like, <laughs> maybe I should get the NDA. <laughs> I'm like, me and you, are, we're chill, right? Like, you wouldn't. Um, yeah, no, I was just, I didn't want, like, just, you could ask me anything, but, like, you know. Yeah, I see that. You I do, don't want I don't to talk do about press, the girlfriend thing. I don't do, I will, no, we'll talk about it. Okay. I do press, and, you know, it's always about Jersey Shore. And people, I, I think they sometimes feel, anyway, I'm not going to tell you how to do your job. But I was going to say, like, some people, like, that's the only thing they it's know like how the to well talk. They, keep they going know back how to. to talk about, you yeah. know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. no, we can, we're, I'm a human. We can talk about I do other things. Other things, you know? Yeah. But not even about me, just talking. Right. You know, but yeah. just like not like, do you still talk? Like the questions we get every day are oh. unbelievable. Yeah. You know, do you still talk to everyone? We do the show. It's airing every Thursday. Right. And they're like, do you still know them? You guys should bring the show back and blah, blah, blah. So great. <laughs> anyway, back to the this girlfriend a very thing. politician thumbs up. Um, <laughs> I have a, ma a I was going to say master's. I have a bachelor's in political science. Oh, that's so, great. Yeah. I have a bachelor's in um, acting and um, head giving, head giving. Mm -hmm. And um, I minored in French. For real? Mm-hmm. So well, from where? Where'd you go? Marymount Manhattan College. So acting, huh? Yeah. Like theater? Yeah, theater performance. Nice. BA. I was wasted for my senior audition. <laughs> I was very bad. I got kicked out of two dorms. but For your audition? Did it work out better? No, no, no. No? No. It what didn't. did you want to, did you want to be like a, on Broadway or something? Yeah. yeah. I was, I did like off Broadway shows for a while. I was an I off was, Broadway show. Too. Were you? Mm -hmm. What is it? <laughs> it was called That Bachelorette Show. Oh. And it was like one of those like, inter it was just like an interactive like yeah. drunk thing for, it was like my precursor to Chippendales. Okay. When I had like a couple years of my life where things Went dark. weren't popping <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. Things got a little dark. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you could probably find it on there. Let's go back. Um, let's put it in Vinny. And so anyway, so yeah, it was it was kind of fun. Um, but you were saying off Broadway, you right? Wanted, yeah. But I just like I got cast in these shows, and I would I, they were fun. But I was twenty when I got cast in the first one, mm -hmm. and I just started drinking. Look at look at you, the red velour look suit. They just like wanted me to play myself. Basically, that's awesome. So that we would just get drunk every night after these shows. And I, th these people were like in their late twenties, early thirties. And I was like 20. Mm -hmm. And so to me, it was like, I had fucking made it. I was like, I'm working with all these people. These are real actors. This is awesome. But looking back, I was just drinking so much. Mm. Every you think single that night. If you were doing it at this point in your life now, you would have. It would be different because I don't drink. It. It's been five yeah. years. May 10th. Thank you so much. Congrats. Thank you. Um, but. I wanted to be an actor. I did all that. Like I, that's how I got on. Oh God, here I hey, don't talk about Jersey Shore. That's all you can and talk now about. I keep talking about it. I'm not even gonna go there. You've heard the story <laughs> go there, before. Go no, there. no, no. They've heard the story. Whatever. All right, all right. But I was doing like little like Craigslist like auditions. I do and Craigslist. Shit. I answer Craigslist ads. You too. have a Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have so much in common. Income or out calls. It's crazy. Um. Yeah. I. Uh, I was doing like little like extra. I always wanted to be. I was in theater. I could I see in, you on like an episode of like The Soprano, like you know some Italian that's fucking racist. shit. That's and yeah, racist. I'm yeah. racist. No, they need to I'm bring. From Boston. They need to bring back. <laughs> I'm racist. <laughs> they need to bring back like an Italian thing where like they just need to. Well, oh, you're telling me the Italian thing went somewhere. Where it's is it? There's everywhere no, I look. Well, The Sopranos isn't. What? <laughs> what? No, I'm talking about a show or Italian, something. Italian. I need, I, need, I want to be typecasted. Is what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. You know, I need them to like not hire me on merit or anything besides like <laughs> he has an Italian accent. When, when Jersey Shore was popping off, I actually know a couple of kids that lived in LA and they were getting so much work because like every show now had like a little Jersey Shore episode of yeah. like law and order mm -hmm. or some shit. It was like very topical. Yeah. So they were getting like all this work out of nowhere. And then like, they stopped getting work. <laughs> There's gotta be like an Italian, like a scripted Italian show. The last the Soprano. Mm, no. Yeah. No. Right. There's like a, a movie. At the least. Irishman was like kind of like the last Scorsese one. Okay. Um, not even. I a did want to. I, I did try to tweet to be in the news Magic Mike because I felt oh, like that was pretty easy. on That's brand easy for you. Yeah. You what know? happened? Nobody didn't go anywhere. <laughs> no, like a, three people retweeted it, <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. That's interesting. Um, 
Do you anyway. think it's hard to date because you are such God, a sexual this girl object? Wants to know about my dating life. Yeah, so bad. because uh, I, this is I run into this problem. Everybody wants to know. They do because you're a sexual. You're a sexual object. Well, yeah, like mo like you know, if you have an OnlyFans, it's mm. like it's a turn off to a lot of guys. It's just something they don't want to deal with. I don't I blame them. Really, what are, what are you doing on there? Are you fucking uh, everyone? Are you fucking like, just strangers? You're no, not fucking anyone, no, right? No, okay, I never okay. fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on OnlyFans. <laughs> um, I don't know, but it's, it's. Should we do one? Yeah, let's do it. We'll make we'll so much money. Keep it, yeah, dude. And oh, it's going way behind a paywall. Tight. Yeah, talk tight about fucking paywall. Talk about NDAs. Talk about tight. People are gonna. <laughs> Thank you. People are gonna try to like bootleg it. Yeah, like it's gonna be better than the Kardashian. Um, do I get it? I mean, no. I, honestly, I think like, it's different for men. I get made fun of. Yeah, it is different for men for sure. I get made fun of. For Chippendales, not really made fun of, but like guys. By dudes. By dudes. Yeah. Every girl I tell, Loves she could it. be a fucking doctor, right. nun. If you say like, you know, it's also not like a strip club. Like, you know what I mean? Or I'm dancing for dollars. It's like a, it's in a theater. It's like a show on the right. strip. You know what I mean? Right. Um, I've never gotten hate. They all love it. They're like, I gotta come. And like, it's like, it's great. That's why I do it. It's like the most, it's like a comedy show, by the way. Yeah. Like when you get there, it's hilarious. I bet. Everyone's like funny. The host is funny. We're, we interact. Yeah. It's like a, we do like a game show on stage. It's not a stripper type of thing. Right. Situation, you know? It's a show. Um, Yeah. So how do you feel like, so what, how do you navigate around the OnlyFans thing? Um... I don't know. It's like, I mean, it's like I still kind of like see guys here and there, but like I haven't had mm. a serious boyfriend. Like I was dating a guy for almost two years and then I started the OnlyFans and he had a big problem with it. So I stopped doing OnlyFans for like four months and like lived off of the couple hundred grand that I had banked. Yeah. That went or that you have to like fast. Or you have to like live by the off the guy. Which wasn't possible. <laughs> yeah. Um, so wait, 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 why? Because he didn't have it? Correct. All right, if you're going to be barking orders, I agree. you know what I mean? You got to start I, paying the bills. I you know agree. what I mean? I agree. So it was just, his mom found my OnlyFans. It was a bad time. Yeah. So here's and like some guys who like my thing is like guys who want to date me. I don't want to date them. I usually like like shoot like out of my league same, or whatever. Same. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, you're probably you probably have to deal with a lot of like privacy stuff. Like it's probably hard for you to date because everybody's up your ass a little. The girl, like you said, the girls I date and stuff or go for, like they usually don't know who the fuck I am. <laughs> or yeah, I, I date like okay, so I don't fuck down, mm -hmm. I fuck up. Yeah, I hear you. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Because yeah. like, they're, everyone's like, oh, Vinny, aren't you worried? Like, you know, that girl's gonna take advantage of you, or are you worried about like maybe like a gold babies or something oh, like that? Trap. I'm trap like. You. I, these girls don't want to have a baby with me. <laughs> like these, I, I'm fucking trash. You know what I mean? Like that's that's what I go for. I want to be tr someone's trash. You, I want to be like an A-listers like passion project, like like Kim K did to Pete. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I want to be, you know, like I want like you ever see those couples where it's like she's dating him? him? That is so interesting because I, I feel like that. most guys are the opposite. And most guys don't want like a more successful or more elite person than them. They want somebody who is going to be in the background and be a cheerleader and they don't have to worry about them over like shadowing. Well, them I, or... I still like traditional vibes, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that even if a woman is successful, I'm noticing in my research, uh, she can still have traditional vibes sure. as a woman. She could be very feminine and, and she could and, and she can sure. uh, submissive. You love this. <laughs> Of <sighs> you know, um, <laughs> so yeah, like I, I, I would think that would be like the best situation, but, like where she's, she's successful. Yeah. So I know she's, oh my God, just, I know she, I know she, uh, it's my dad and my, and my thing was on, but that's cause he's on the favorite thing. Oh. Anyway, um, I know, yeah, I know she doesn't want shit from me, but at the same time, like, you know, she's cool with like being like a, you know, traditional woman and, and being and, secure enough to like if you're still doing the chippendales thing you're being you know ogled by a, yeah thousands I, of women i never really run into that a lot of, i like dating like a secure woman right. who like doesn't really i'm a taurus we that. can be possessive so. so would you would that bother you 
Uh, yeah, I would like show up to your shows just to fight everyone. <laughs> you liar. If you saw it, you would know. It's like a fucking comedy show. No, you know? it wouldn't bother I've me. had like a couple of girls make comments, but they like, they'll be like, what if I did that? I'm like, on the Go street? <laughs> I'm like, or, or like, are you in a show too? Right. Did what, they what, ask you to be in the show? What are, what are the, con what's the context Do you here? like Vegas? Um, I don't when I'm there, but when I leave, I miss it. Really? Because I, I love the, like, the hospitality industry has, like, uh, like these people that run it. Mm -hmm. And they're, like, totally, like, normal. They're not, like, Hollywood people. Mm -hmm. They're just, like, people that moved from, like, Chicago and Ohio and shit to, like, go live in the desert mm -hmm. to, like, run the win. You know what I mean? Yeah, Which I love is, the win. So, I love the win. So, um. They have my clean market there. They have the IV drips there. Yep. So, uh. Yeah, it's like a cool little like like off the strip community that like yeah. I've become a part of. Because I've done a, like a festival. I'm going back in September, and I just like Vegas isn't really. It doesn't feel very me. I don't. Really, I wouldn't live there. Um, yeah. I do like. I don't like it's the desert. Yeah. Um, I like what I do, which is like a little staycation, right? For like five weeks, okay. and they put me up and and shit. And I are feel, you on stage feel every like, night? Feel like for those Elvis. Five weeks? Uh, no, I just do it on the weekends. Oh, nice. I do it like uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's fun. Um, yeah. So that was really, I, I do like to fuck up and um, hopefully. I feel like I'm, I, I mean, it depends. Well, what, what are a couple of good ones? We had, we had Pete and Kim, which yeah. to me, if I break that down, that's actually Who's not. fucking up? Like, I yeah, feel like they're yeah. equal. They are. They are. Especially well, she's if a, you look at his but, but at first, resume, his pussy resume. Yeah. That's she's true. not the top of that list. Mm. I love Depends Kim K. Don't you, get me wrong. What you're looking at, like, youth. She's okay. Yeah, <laughs> she's she's losing points. She's Kaya gaining Gerber points. Is smoking all of them. Yeah, they did it for like two seconds. Right, but she's a billion dollars. So, yeah. so there you go. Um, I, I don't know. I read going, she was in debt. I read Kim K. Had like the debt. <laughs> really? Dude. Yes. Oh, no Because they put like all their houses on like like credit, dude. So they have like, I feel like they took out loans. All rich people are in debt and bankrupt and know way. how to like do it, so they don't pay taxes. I feel like the I need to learn that. I pay taxes. Like I'm fucking doing well and like don't get me started. here's half of it. Don't get me started. I need to like start being broke or something. Like, I'm, I'm like, where, where where does my money go? Like, am I sending kids to school? I don't want to. Like, do I get to choose? A little village in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you just bought an orphanage. Well, they're probably fucking know? cutting their clits off and not letting them do any fun things. So I don't anyway, like it. Anyway. Um, they do that in Africa, Vinny. Eric Andre was a big one. He was with Rosario Dawson. When? Wait. Look it up. When? In between. Who did she dated? Corey fucking the I don't politician know anyone guy. Else. She did a Corey Bush? No. Corey. Isn't that his name? Corey Bush? I don't think it's Bush. Is that his name? <laughs> I like he Bush. Was <laughs> I do. I like a on little, a girl. Yeah, a little bit. Really, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Not like crazy. I, I want you to be like manicured everywhere, right? Like, and then like have have a bush, a little bush. Yeah, like a little like on the top. Not or, like a landing strip, like actual like little. You're crazy. Like a little bush. No, no, it's it's a thing. I like it. I'm neat not the only and clean guy. down there, like a little baby girl. Well, no one cares what you like. Like a little pedophile. <laughs> no, <see, laughs> I do. You found it. Rosario. Eric Andre. Look but at that. But he, he, he's, oh, wow. He's uh, so funny, though. But this was like kind of before he blew up, I think, a lot since this. Like, but when he was with her, it was kind of like wow. not really. He might have had the Eric Andre show, but like he's That's become more of a example. household name. Was he with Emily Rudachowski? Shit. She's with a lot I of people. I DM'd her. I mean, I didn't DM her. <laughs> Let's go, Vinny. I didn't yes, DM her. Did. No, no, no. I commented on her page because she had a. Uh, she had a thing that said, everybody loves an Italian boy. Is that Rosario? No, that's Emily. That's Emily. Her ass is crazy. She's popping it. She's popping it out. She, well, it's so good. Bro, though. You, ass, if it's not there to pop. Just standing ass is amazing. Just standing. No pop. No pop. Like that shit is. Yeah, but that's like genetic. If it's like you bubbling. Have like you're just walking around on stage and still have ass, you know? A lot of these girls don't have any ass unless they're... They're running their asses off. They're doing they're too much cardio. It. They need to lift more weights. No, they just don't never... They just don't have it. <laughs> they just don't have Some it. And you think they have an ass, but then you see them and it's like, where is it? And they trick you because they've been popping it out. And some of them have ass from the front. That's not good? Well, not, you, when, not when you also don't have it from the back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, what do we mean? Like a fupa? No, no, like, like like hips. Hips. I love hips. But no ass behind it. You you can't like that's not good still? Like no. really nice hip. Like wide hips. Like a like a I like the hips. An hourglass. But I would love to continue it <laughs> around. <laughs> I don't want it to 
hips. That's called ass, ass, ass from the front. You don't like being tricked. <laughs> yeah, yes. What was it's the thing that you posted illusion. that you and I were talking about? Face, ass, yes, tits. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. I, well, I didn't agree with the whole thing. Yeah, what were the things that we were like It was about? like um, tit size over tit shape. Right. I like I like that. Wait, so you prefer? Um, shape over size. Shape over size. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some guys are just tit guys though. Like Pat's a tit guy. Yes, you like big tits. You like big Jewish tits. That was the old me. <laughs> yeah. He's he's evolved. I do find that the older I do guys evolve. get. I, I do. I do go through phases too, by the way. I, I found that the older guys got, they go from tit guys to ass guys, especially once they start fucking and seeing the role that the ass plays in intercourse. Yes. More than you the can't, tits. You can't. That's always going to be a constant for me. The ass thing. Tits I go back and forth on. I don't love fake tits. No. I'd rather like smaller real yeah. tits over, you know, whatever. Yeah. But um, yeah, about the shape, you know, I love a good, I love a good teardrop. Loves a teardrop. Oof. <laughs> love a teardrop. <laughs> and I like when they're big and natural too. And sure. then like people hate on me. They're like, Dude, they sag. I'm like, that's, they're supposed to sag. It's natural. It's still sexy. It means they're fucking big and yeah, they're yeah, yeah. heavy. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like heavy. You got the heavy bags, yeah, 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 yeah. you know? yeah. The yeah. fuck? Yeah. I, I've always loved I big love breasts. I love stretch marks. I love all that shit. Stretch marks in the right places. Yeah, not across her fucking forehead. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I do too. I love Fa stretch marks. The face, though, is, is, is important. Of course. That's it's the like, thing. It's <clears> like. I just want like which is I, weird because yours sucks. Is, your face isn't cute. All, like it's so my, ugly. I'm like mid. <laughs> You're like a four. All I want <laughs> you is like ass, a beautiful <laughs> face, beautiful natural titties, a yeah. fat ass. Like right? Shut some, up. Some hips. That's all I want. Vinny, shut up. Just a perfect woman. Just, like, the What's perfect, so fucking hard yeah. about that? And then, I want her to be a minimalist and clean up and not be <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and be just, rich like, and be rich, but and, like, also have a bush. <laughs> <laughs> Love a bush. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know about the bush. I don't think you're going to, I mean. Are you incapable here, of growing one? No, because of you, No, because some of them get them like lasered and shit. No, I'm not. I can grow I'm it. I'm telling you, I'll, do I'll the bush. I started growing it right now for you. Do the, <laughs> I put some chia It's been an hour and uh, like you a have a bush now. Mm. Do you go Try for like different bush. ethnicities of women? Uh, wow. Uh, what? Yeah, I, I like uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever I just described. <laughs> Perfect ass, tits, face. No, because you posted Personality, a girl. community. You were like, I don't know, or I just like the vibes, or I just like the aesthetic. Oh, no, was yeah. that on Close Friends? It's probably on Close Friends. Probably not supposed to talk well, about Well, no, it. I was going to say, like, I don't really care about the race, like, if yeah. they have, like, a fat ass <laughs> um, and a pretty face and stuff, you know what I mean? Don't have asses. Most white women, I feel like, don't have asses. So you might not. No, some do. They're called pogs. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know. I will date a pog. People write that on my thing You're sometimes. You're a pog? Yeah. yeah. I love a good pog. But also like, yeah, you know, <laughs> I also like a little bit of like flavor, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, um, I don't really tend to date Italian women too much. No. Because- How's your uh, mom feel about that? She don't care. Not as long as I'm happy and, you know. Um, Are you the baby? I'm, um, I'm, I'm only son, but I have two sisters. You're middle. Mm -hmm. I'm middle too. Yeah. Um, Italian people, I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm dating like my family. Like, okay. you know what I mean? Like I, I dated like a really traditional Italian girl mm -hmm. once and like, I felt like she was like my cousin. I, I, li I like like learning things from the other person. Right. Being, being inspired by like who they are and where they come from and stuff. Yeah. You know? Like I was just in Colombia mm -hmm. and like, I was just like. Slaying puss. No, I was working, <laughs> but I saw a lot of guys slaying puss there because. Yeah? Well. They let you watch? <laughs> yeah, they let me watch. No, it's like a thing there. Like it's just like they're just walking around Everybody's the street, just... and anyone can like get with them. Yeah, like sex work is is huge. Oh. It's sex tourism. It's kind of okay. sad actually. Do, but they're hot. They're like I'm sure it's they're like all... not sad looking at them. No, like, I was gonna say like they're the probably... idea of it is sad. But like I'm like you're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Like right. do you want to get married? <laughs> do you want to get married? <laughs> do you want to come to? <laughs> and she's like, she's like yeah. After I'm done with this guy over here, he's like this guy's gonna buy me lunch for blowjobs. Then I'll marry you. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I'm a simp. <laughs> then I'll marry you. What All right. We've already done more on my pod than we usually do. What? See how easy? We just got started. See how easy? What the fuck are you talking mm -hmm. about? I knew you would be great. So I've been asking you for a year and a half. Well, I wanted it to feel organic right. and right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I do appreciate you. you no, I appreciate biked. you. I appreciate. <laughs> Wait, what? Even though she didn't know my name, my last name. Guadagnino. Um, 
But you know, can I no, say No, you're a good something? person. Like, and you, you know, you help me with, with like comedy. I want you to do you're, more. You're very like welcoming and you make me feel like good about it because like. It's I, tough. I, it is tough. And like, it, and the comedy community has been the most welcoming community that like I've ever met. I, I go in a lot of different circles. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. like comedians who you would think would be the most ruthless. They'll be like, do you want to go on stage tonight? Yeah. I'm like. No, dude, I've never done it before. <laughs> like, we're, this is the main like, room of the comedy <laughs> cellar. Like, you're Chris Rock. Like, I'm not. He's like, no, come on. Come on. Get up here. I'm like. These people are going to love it. Yeah, yeah. That's the other thing. Like, you're Do you want to like, go on tour with me? I'm like, bro, I just started. You're a crowd pleaser. Mm. Like, you. You're, so it's selfish. That is one, one thing. <laughs> She's like, just be on my show. I'm trying to sell tickets. <laughs> I feel um, like that's one thing you definitely have going for you, though. Like coming to the stage, like people are. But then you got to be good, you know. You do. You, you got to have that little spark, which do. I do. But yeah. then it's like continuing it. And, How uh, do you write? Like, what is your? So, like, I like I, like I started talking about earlier. Like, I. I take I took like a stand up comedy class. I told you they didn't teach you how to write, but it was just like you know, and um, I don't know. Like I kind of like try. Like this sounds weird, but like. Sometimes I try to like emulate like different comedians, yeah. like with my own jokes, obviously, yeah. but like, you know, like their style, like mm -hmm. one time, like, like I like Anthony Jeselnik mm -hmm. because like he's dark kind of like yes. me, you know what I mean? But his comedy is just set up punchline, yeah. you know what I mean? And I'm like, I can rationalize that in my head because I'm like a systematic person. I'm right. like a left, left brain person. Okay. I think, I don't uh -huh. know if it's the right or left, but like. I could, I could do that. So I'll start writing. Like the formula is easy for you. That formula, yeah. you know, but like I said, I think that to really find my voice and what formula I have, I'm going to have to just go up there and start like talking. Yeah. Like when I did, I did UCB for like six years okay. and I would do like the monologues all the time at their ASCAT thing. Mm -hmm. You know what that is? Yeah. I remember. And that. like just me free flowing up there, giving a monologue, like yeah. it, it's a very forgiving audience there, yeah. but like. Crush. people in stitches yeah, you know good, what i'm saying good, so yeah. it's hard but I, I i can't just go up and do a monologue right. at like you know a the club. sand no. you know what i mean yeah but something like that something like talking well, like we, like I, I, I listen to like louis ck's like formula and he's like no i write down bullet points mm -hmm. and i i let the audience tell me what's funny or not yeah. you know what i mean he's just like and i'm not saying that i'm i'm there but like he's one of those comics and like you kind of do get to a place where you're able to write on stage. Yeah. You have enough, like, I mean, I headline, like I have, you know, close to an hour of like written material. I have more fun doing crowd work. Mm. So like sometimes jokes will be birthed from crowd work. I think the funniest ones and the most real ones, you know, it's like, so it's so stupid, feels so stupid to me going up there and saying this recited joke. Right. You know what I mean? I know. I'm like, I know, you know, it's, a, and, and even with that though, the audience is still so forgiving mm -hmm. and they're like, no, like I want to hear it. Like I'm here to laugh, you yeah. know, but I just feel stupid yeah. rather than just like feeling like I'm actually talking to you about like this funny thing. But it's like, know? we're giving people <clears throat> the license to laugh at shit that like they might be thinking all the time, but like, you know, and then like in a group that they're all kind of like, Oh yeah, let's fucking let's make yeah. fun of transgendered people. Yeah. yeah. But it's just like a certain, you guys do it so well. <laughs> you do it. So like, <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> you do it so well where it doesn't, there's like a certain it's like when you go to flirt with somebody whatever like where like this other like tone comes over you and yeah. you like start talking like, like is that like, what you do like everyone can hear it in the room kind of some yeah. people do it like podcasting and shit when they're like spitting game yeah like it, it, there's something off there's like a little bit of a disconnect between like who you actually are inauthentic yeah mm -hmm. you know so i think being authentic is one of the most important things about comedy because if you're not like if you don't trust yourself and you're asking a crowd to trust you it's kind of weird and like the moments where i'm like oh fuck i fucked up or whatever like everyone's laughing like, because yeah. it's you i know you they know like so it's like how do i just do that the whole time <laughs> you know what i mean just fuck up like the whole hey time. this is me yeah i'll just fuck up the whole time <laughs> maybe that's the key all right, this, is the, end. Comedy, this guys. is the end this of the podcast. The oh, this was so fun. You did such a great job. Thanks, you too. You're a great host. <laughs> Don't get me canceled. I probably got canceled four times. You didn't but. say anything bad. Except for that thing about you the did. black kids in, in Africa that they don't deserve food and water. Is that what you said? Well, I was hitting the dog you were, when I was like in the back. Who hit and, the dog? Yeah. Pat, do B-roll of you hitting the dog. 
I don't know. Is there anything you want to point my fans to? Do you want to throw out? You want them to follow you? Just my or feet. Or follow me on Wiki Feet. When, when does uh, Jersey Shore air? Um, oh, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> what? I ask one question. He doesn't um, care. I don't even know. It, it, it just aired. And now another season is going to air eventually. But just follow me on Instagram at Vinny Guadagnino. And, you know, you can keep up with me and the yacht and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Come see Vinny do stand up. He's going to do it more and more and more. Yeah, I'm going to do it more. At Karen, the stand. Karen's like my my little. He does new jokes at the cellar sometimes. Like my little mom. This that's guy, gonna, like, he's good. Know. I wouldn't encourage you if I thought you stunk. No, I, 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 I definitely I feel like there's something there. It's just about finding it and um, under the bush. Also, it's under the bush. <laughs> it's like going to the gym. You know what I mean? Like you got to work you, out. You got to work out and. I'm running around so much that I'm not committing my full life to it. You know You're what I mean? Very busy guy. But like I moved to the city to commit my full life to it. But I'm going to take the money first. Take that cash. I got to take the cash, you know? It's not chipping stale. Chipping rail. Did you like rail. Is that? Good? Oh, all right. Goodbye. Done. Bye. Good. Oh, it's only feet. Oh, it's only feet.